Hello, I am Dr. Jijo Martin. Today I am going to be doing ascetic tapping or also called abdominal paracentesis. It is a procedure where we insert a needle into the peritoneal cavity to obtain ascetic fluid for diagnostic and therapeutic purposes. It is highly recommend the use of an ultrasound to help choose the safest location to insert the needle. As you can see on this ultrasound, the top part is dark, that is the ascetic fluid, and the bottom is white, that is the intestine and the omentum. After knowing the landmark where I am going to prick, I went to wash my hands and now I am going to wear a sterile surgeon's gown. and putting on sterile surgical gloves. Here we have a 60 year old male patient, known case of CLD with portal hypertension. He came with complaint of abdominal pain and distension. As you can see the abdomen is massively distended due to the fluid collection in there. I am wiping the area and the surrounding with 2% chlorhexidine solution. The landmark is halfway between the anterior superior iliac spine and the umbilicus. Apply a sterile drape and put a sterile bed sheet on top of that to get a wide sterile area. I am cutting a hole on the bed sheet. Loading local anesthesia lignocaine. That's the IV set. That is 16 gauge needle. Anesthetize the skin with lignocaine. I already taken uh, informed consent from the patient and the relatives about this procedure. Take 20 ml syringe and insert it into the abdominal cavity through skin and aspirate until you see the ascetic fluid. Collect 20 ml for diagnostic purpose. That's the acidic fluid for diagnostic purpose. Now I will pour 5 ml on each bottle. Totally I will collect 5 samples for testing. Send for culture and sensitivity, microscopy, hematology, albumin, protein, LDH, glucose, cytology for malignancy and TB. and closing all the bottles one by one. The first part was the diagnostic tapping that I have completed. Now moving into the second part that is a therapeutic parasynthesis. So using a 16 gauge uh, cannula I am inserting into the abdominal cavity and removing the stillet and there you can see the acetic fluid is draining. Connect IV set into the cannula Collect the fluid into a jar. There you can see the fluid is coming. I use a paper tap to attach the IV set into the jug so that it won't fall apart. Also apply more if you want. Using a sterile gauze piece, I am lifting the cannula and fixing it with the paper tap so that the cannula won't come out as the patient moves. That's it. We will leave it there for another 15-20 minutes and the acetic fluid keeps on draining into the jug and in the end we will measure it. This is human albumin. After large volume of acetic fluid is drained, 
it is absolutely necessary to transfuse albumin which is relatively costly but it's worth it now let's check out how much fluid we drain the large cup is 2 liter and the small cup is 1 liter so total 3 liters we have drained in the end remove the cannula from the side compress the area with gauze piece and apply dinoplaster on top and that's it i hope you like the video Thank you.